main entrance. Still got a little siding to do. Last time we came, they didn't have the parking lot ready yet, but it is paved. Have no idea how many it's going to hold. Hopefully, ten thousand at least. Got the metal detectors ready for next week. The seating from the top row, I guess it's the handicap accessible seating. So I feel obviously it's smaller than the wharf in Orange Beach, but I feel the views from the top look a little bit better. How many does it seat, do you know? 8,500. 8,500. I think so. They will shoot for 10. I don't know. They... You can pack them down there at the bottom. Now, do you know if they're done with the, the suites that they were building off on the end or something? Whatever it was supposed to be? Uh, I don't know about that. I know we... Put I think it's that community bank club or something. I'm not sure if you're supposed to be... Able... Yeah. The lighting rig set up. Looks ready. A nice little uh, Home Depot water cooler. Seems to be a pretty nice feature. They just turned the lights on, on the screen. Oh, and it's on. Never mind. It's on for a second. This is the view from the lowest chair back there is here. I'm not sure what section this is. Maybe like 203 or something. Not completely sure, but this is a pretty good seat for a, a chair back section. Not bad at all. Oh, I think it was dark. This would be the, the setup for the technicians and everything, which I know at Orange Beach, it can block the view sometimes. I guess it might block it from right there a little bit, but it doesn't look too bad. Here are the box sections that I guess people have sponsored. And they're selling these. Individually, you can have a group of people come into this part. I think they sell where you can get like season tickets kind of too, and you'd have this set up. I think maybe you have food service come to this section. You can get food and drink to you, maybe. These lower box seats would be really good. You have like a group of people, eight people, nine people. It'd be a great view right here. And they have a view now from the standing room, the pit, which has the little lights. And I thought those were projected down, but nope. Lighting in the ground. <laughs> nice view of everything. I'm sure that was very okay. Yeah. Might as well enjoy this view now because I know I'll never ever try to get in the pit. Here's a view from right in the center. Looking out. About to go over there. That is where the community bank club or whatever it is it's on that side now we've got a concession stand sponsored by all these Let's see what the menu says all of them are the same across hot dogs jumbo dogs all the dogs pretty standard stuff price about like I would think hamburger six oh no combos though so hamburger and fries together would be 11 Chicken tenders and fries, 11. Oh well, it's about what you expect. You don't come to a concert to eat anyway. And here's your drink menu. I wouldn't know anything about this. Oh, Aquafina. No, Aquafina, if you come and get a rock star at a concert, you're crazy. Right at the end, off to the right side of the stage, you got the community bank club. I'm not really sure what all the process of this is. I'm pretty sure you can't just get your ticket and come. I think it may be an extra add-on or a, maybe a membership. It's really nice. At the bar with red light. Uh, the sign. Some pictures and a TV, which I'm sure it'll have a, a live feed of what's going on on the screen. The most important thing, bathrooms. Plenty of use, plenty of urinals, plenty of urinals. But just hand dryers, no paper towels. Worst invention ever. It's starting to get dark, I'm on the way out, but I did want to point out those are video screens off to the side right there. Because I guess a place like this, you, you don't really have a bad seat to where you would need one, but it is pretty cool to have a feature. A lot of bands use it. 
different type of videos and stuff during the show, so that'd be cool. Off to the side of the stage on this side, they have the, basically the same concession stand, some more bathrooms, but a merchandise tent and an ATM, which is pretty cool to have this built in. A lot of places I've been to just have to set up their own tables, but the fact that they already have it built is a pretty neat feature and already got the, the counters and the, the mesh to put the shirts and stuff up on. Pretty neat. It's pretty cool to see where it comes from. The main entrance and these wide steps all the way down into the pit. Plenty of room, I don't think they would have any problem with crowds building up or anything. And of course there's a handicap ramp. And then if your seat's near the top, there's a there's the walkway that goes along the top side of it all. So that was the new amphitheater. I wanted to spend a little more time, but Christian's in the car, she wouldn't get out. She's scared that we would get kicked out, which you don't have to worry about that when you got the Farm Bureau shirt on, you just act like you're on the job. You're good. One last look at it before I get the trespassing charge. First concert is next Wednesday, Chris Young. And yes, I'm still salty. I will be out of town when Imagine Dragons comes in July. But that's it. That's the amphitheater now.